that people, especially the local communities, have to have the buy-in to be able to make the bioeconomy work because they're closest to their natural resources and they're highly dependent on natural resources. So we need the participation of the local communities uh, in partnership with the local governments, with the academe and the private sector. And to be able to bring those synergies together and scale it up from the local to the national and then the regional. Uh, we also have to take into account the sustainable development goals and how they all interrelate um, in order to make um, a bioeconomy business uh, sustainable for the long term. I think one way to make um, a bioeconomy sustainable or a driving factor would be um, for government to help uh, small business or indigenous or marginalized groups have access to finance. Bioeconomy is mean that it's not only technical things related to the bio uh, thing for bio bioenergy and also bio products, but we have to consider the benefits of the bio products, just like the economic perspective of bioeconomy. So in order to uh, transforming to the sustainable way of the bioeconomy, we have to consider many, many yeah, things. For example, like we have to consider a social aspect. What I can see it can be applicable in the energy sector is we need to map like each community indigenous value and their indigenous resources to be able to extract and drive this small scale community to towards uh, adopting the bioeconomy. The development of bioeconomy uh, is driven by many factors uh, and one of the most important uh, driver is of course the active participation of the government and also government agencies. Why? Why government and government agencies? This is because they are the ones who actually develop the policies. 